bacteria tips that might make organizing a little bit easier, even creating a little bit easier. So if I have this square and I want a quick duplicate of it, I'm holding the Alt key down on my keyboard um, and I can drag a second one. So if, again, I'm going to, I'm on this this um, square, this cube, I'm going to hold the Alt key down right next to the space bar and, and drag. So now I have a series of boxes. And I could apply different materials to them as well. I'm using my Shift key right now to select them all so I can move them all together. Um, but here's the interesting one I like for organization. There are times where you're modeling, you're creating things in Vectary, and you have a ton of um, objects, a ton of just assets all around your screen. So like there might be something for a bedroom, there might be something for a living room, there might be something for a crime scene. And you can create some folders. And so now I have this group and I'm going to double click on it and call it spheres. I have multiple spheres in here. And so I'm going to select all of these spheres. So I'm going to click on the top sphere and use my shift key and select the bottom one or if they're scattered I can use my control key to click on one and click on the remaining spheres that I need if they're not quite in order and I want to drag them into this folder so I'm hovering over top that folder and now everything's in that I don't have to see them all the time if I need access to them they're in there um, I can temporarily hide them all at one shot and I love organizing in folders so let me show you that one more time if I hover over the folder and hit group and I'm going to create a folder called boxes so double click uh, you know what? I created a folder inside the other folder, so we don't want that. I do want to create another folder, though, for this box. So I'm going to double click on it. So I did click on this box, and now that was automatically. So you know what? Let's try this. That could be something that works. I want... Um, all of these three objects in a group and I so I have them selected and I'm going to go to group and I'm going to call this box and that way I have all of my boxes in a group and all of my spheres and again this just is a lot uh, easier to organize as I have um, many objects that I'm working with on the screen.